David Light has suffered a mild stroke several weeks after his unsuccessful attempt to wrestle the WBO Cruiserweight title from Lawrence O'Colley. Now, he had several scans after the fight in the days and weeks following, but at some point he started developing strange symptoms and there was a clot found on his brain and he had to undergo surgery to have it removed. They're describing it as a mild stroke. So presumably this isn't as serious as some of the other blood clots we've seen in boxing. Nevertheless, I would assume that because he's suffered a bleed on the brain, even if it's very mild, that this means his boxing career is over. Who can really license this guy when he's had that kind of procedure done? I've seen fighters not get licensed for actually far less than this. When they've found abnormalities with their brain scan, not anything like a clot, just an abnormality, and they've said, no, you can't ever box again. Now, obviously, that's the UK. David Light is from New Zealand. I don't know what the commissions are like over there, whether it's a lot more strict, but I would imagine that in most Western countries, they're not gonna allow this guy to box. So it could be all over for him. David Light is a guy who's apparently renowned for his toughness, not only in his fights, but also in the gym. But this is where being that kind of fighter gets you sometimes. You end up having your career cut short, not necessarily through something like a blood clot on the brain, but sometimes you can be so punch drunk that people no longer want to license you or promoters no longer want to bring you in to fight their guys because you're not going to put up any opposition, at least not on a top 10 world level. So there you have it. Very unfortunate for David Light that he's suffered this issue. We wish him a speedy recovery. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments section below.